हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द साइंस क्लास ऑफ फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ चैप्टर सॉलिड्स लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस आई होप यू हैव रेड एंड रिवाइज्ड द टॉपिक सेपरेशन ऑफ लिक्विड्स फ्रॉम इनसॉलिबल सॉलिड्स टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद सेपरेशन ऑफ लिक्विड्स फ्रॉम सॉलिबल सॉलिड्स सो काइंडली ओपन योर बुक एट पेज 75 सेपरेशन ऑफ लिक्विड्स फ्रॉम soluble solids students as we have already discussed that soluble solids are the solids which get dissolved in liquids for example common salt sugar so we can separate soluble solids from a liquid by methods like evaporation and condensation so let's read about these methods in detail evaporation and condensation the process by which a liquid gets converted into its vapor form is called evaporation students underline word converted and write down its meaning to change from one form to another student mark this definition on book the process by which a liquid gets converted into its vapor form that is gaseous form on heating is called evaporation so the common example of evaporation is to separate common salt from sea water students during evaporation the solution or mixture is heated and the liquid component of solution gets evaporated and dissolved solid component is left behind now next is condensation the process by which vapors get converted to the liquid form is called condensation mark this definition of condensation on book so students if vapor cools down it gets converted into liquid form and this process is called condensation students during evaporation and condensation the solution or mixture is heated so that the liquid gets evaporated and the dissolved solid component is left as residue now underline word evaporated and write its meaning to change a liquid into steam or gas now underline word residue and write its meaning what is left after the main part of something is taken or used now let's read further evaporation and condensation are used to separate common salt from sea water the sea water is collected in the shallow pits underline word shallow and write its meaning not deep now underline word pits and write its meaning to make small holes in the surface so students to separate salt from sea water the sea water is collected in shallow pits and the water gets heated by the sun and evaporates and salt is left behind this salt is then purified before consumption students underline word purified and write its meaning to remove dirty or harmful substances from something now underline word consumption and write its meaning the act of using something so after evaporation of sea water the salt left behind and this salt is then purified that is dirty and harmful substances are removed from salt and then this salt is ready for consumption so students today we have discussed about separation of liquids from soluble solids in the next class we will continue with separation of liquids from miscible liquids till then you read and revise this topic again and also related cross questions thank you have a nice day